in the church. Let me tell you why. Hunger, Bible study, thirst for more knowledge will allow us to universally say, something else has come and we must believe it. We're in a questioning age. Amen? I mean, we're not in an age to go establish truth more and more. We're in an age that we're fighting to hold on to what we got. Isn't that right? Yes. yes. You see? So that's why I don't believe that God is going to send that. It's not what we got. I think that's what we going to deal with until the Lord comes. That's what I rule the woman and ministry, etc., etc. But I ask the question, what started the discussion and who's discussing it? Let me explain something to you on this. When we went to GC 1990, at that time, Elder McClure was alive. No, sorry, 1995. My wife and I went to a church in West Bigberry when they were putting the satellite up. It was a new Tread Holland, so we didn't go. And uh, so we got to see the nightly reports. And they came back from the floor and they were talking about the fight that they had, carried on with the issue of women in ministry, etc., etc. I turned to my wife and I said to her, I says, uh, who is carrying on this fight? Think about it. Industrialized nations. Europe. United States. The United States. Australia. When the reports come back, the world. Who is the lowest evangelism? Think about it. <laughs> Are you following me? The in the world and of the world principle. I'm sorry. The in the world but not of the world principle is being freely violated. In fact, the, England is so secular. I gave a meeting in England in 2005. England is so secular. That do you know they are opening up pubs right. for families? Families to go. Praise God, bro. Yeah. Families to go. Pastor, I think that's about time to close. <laughs> <laughs> you all didn't set up a drive-by shooting, did you? <laughs> Let me answer this question <laughs> and close. And anyway, England, the United States, I said family pubs, and they're weaning children into drinking early. This is how secular England is. Church but cafes. You look, you look down in other divisions, and they come back with, and believe me, with meager means with baptismal reports that were just a major in fact inter-american division Million. that's the caribbean you know yeah. do you know that between 2000, uh, 2000 and 2005 they baptized our entire division mm. did you know that mm. they left the general conference in toronto in 2000 with one million members over one million members and they came back the next year, with, five years later, sorry, 2005, with over two million members. And you know the money is not the same in the Caribbean as it is here. So what I'm trying to say is, just if you, if I think if the church, if I had a chance to say that from the floor, I would say, let's stop the thing. Let's be honest. If we can get that in the world and not of the world principle down pat, I think we should be able to iron out some of these issues. My last, my last, my last question is hey, you, my brother. Really, not a question. But you mentioned uh, William Foy. Uh, yes. The ABN did a special on him. Okay. And uh, according to their documents, he did exactly what the Lord wanted him to do. Okay. In the end, is what it said. Okay. I would like to see that. I taped it, so I, I, I can get it taped. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't presume to say the end of it. I would be interested. I know that because of his skin color, yeah. he, even in the time he lived in, that uh, obviously he was a little shy on that. And, but you know, there, there is some precedent. That Ellen White, I remember a person ran downstairs, where we, my wife and I used to live, a person ran downstairs 
and was very upset with testimonies volume nine and came and showed a quote where it says that Ellen White encouraged that the blacks labor for the blacks and the whites for the white. And she, she was new in the church and she said, this is racist. And I said, listen, you need to understand the time in which it was written. It was Reconstruction. Yeah. Racism was higher during Reconstruction than during slavery. Right. Because now the black could go out and learn and all that. And they were doing everything they could to suppress black. And so therefore, a black man going to some, someone's door and knocking on the door <laughs> was not his color, right? Are you following? Yes. It, it was, he would not get anywhere. Right. She wasn't advocating racism. She was talking about efficiency to get the, the gospel out. Brothers and sisters, Thank you very, very much. Thanks to your pastor for allowing me to come. It has been my signal honor to be with you. I know we're not supposed to clap for you, but praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm on the phone to feel you.